What's this? That's a can of used motor oil, rocket fuel waste, and assorted chemical sludge left over from my abandoned rocket car. Gross. Accounting doesn't enter into it, but it is disgusting. Would you mind disposing of it on your way out? Uh, sure. What's this? It's the placard we'll be putting in front of our booth at the expo. The scientist that caught Kid Tannen? A small exaggeration, but Edna says it'll attract investors. What do you think of the picture? You look a little... constipated. What? Edna said I looked intense. Yeah, intensely focused on taking it. I get the picture. Hmm. I'll have to find a better one. Unfortunately, there's a lot to choose from. Heavy. Extremely. Mother has been rather obsessive about photographically cataloging my life. Damn it. I've got an idea. What? Why don't I take your photo album over to Edna so she can pick out your new picture? That's a great idea. She's got a better eye for these things than I do anyway. Thanks, pal. Don't mention it. If I'm gonna take Emmett's mind map, I'd better replace it with another one. Nothing happened. Well, that button advances the slides during the mind mapping test. It only works while the test is running. How goes the bacteria farm? Not so hot. The bacteria have kind of gotten out of control. I had to put a clamp on the nitrogen tube to keep the stench from flooding the lab. Ew! Ew! I know that. That's John Wilkes Booth, the guy that shot Lincoln. So, uh, I guess he's supposed to be a negative figure. Ah, huh, that smells much better. Careful! Don't let all the flavor escape. I don't know who that is, but he's clearly a tannin, so I guess he's a negative figure. Emmett 
Matt's invention makes him out to be a model citizen, huh? Well, we'll just see about that. Your mind map test is broken. Oh, well, that switch just keeps shoring out on me. No time to fix it now. I'll have to take care of it at the expo. Looks like I'm not going to be doing any more mind maps. I guess I'll test this out and hope for the best. Bingo! Now Emmett's mind map is as bad as Tannen's. Now all I have to do is swap this out with Emmett's original mind map and Emmett's own machine will do him in. Okay, Emmett. Get ready to meet the new you. Hey! What? I almost left behind my mind map card. We're gonna show it off at the expo as a rare example of a model citizen. Edna kill me if I forgot that. She might kill you anyway when she gets a look at that mind map. Once Emmett gets to the expo, I'll try to figure out how to get him to put his card in the mental alignment meter. But for now, I'd better concentrate on making Emmett a slob who cheats on his girlfriend. Hey Emmett, I've got a... whoa! <laughs> Whoops. What the heck? Oh jeez, I'm sorry, your, your suit's ruined! Edna's gonna be royally P.O.'d. Wrong! What? When Edna gave me this suit, I realized that the probability of me keeping it clean was infinitesimally remote, so I spent a few hours whipping up this. Whoa! Well, what was that? A chemical compound capable of wiping the grime off any surface. Damn it, you'll make a fortune! Not anytime soon, I'm afraid. Due to an inerrant instability in its molecular makeup, after 12 hours, the cleanser's component chemicals break down into a series of claw-shredding enzymes, rendering it unsuitable for commercial use. Wait a minute, does that mean your suit's gonna dissolve in 12 hours? Hey gods, no. The solution dissipates into the air after it's applied. But it does mean that after this batch of cleanser ages another 11 hours and 53 minutes, it would eat away this suit faster than a thousand starving moss. And that would be a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Why? Because this suit belongs to Edna's grandfather, who wore it on his wedding day. Poor guy was gunned down just a few years later. Emmett? Well, enough wool gathering. Back to work. That cleanser doesn't seem very portable. It isn't, but this is. A perfume bottle? Yes. No. I mean, yes, it's a perfume bottle, but inside is a concentrated dose of my all-purpose cleanser. With a little luck, this should last me through the next 12 hours before its component chemicals break down into a series of cloth-destroying enzymes. Clever. What the hell is that? What? Sorry, I, I thought I saw a tarantula. Hmm... What? I was just thinking about the future. All that talk about Edna's grandfather made me realize something. Please let it be something about lightning. Life can be short. Sometimes brutally so. So why not seize the day and grab your happiness while you can? I'm not sure I like where this is going. I was saving this for next Valentine's Day, but why should I? I know what I want! Emmett! No! I'm gonna ask Edna to marry me! Right now! No! Oh, right, right. I'll wait until tonight at the expo! It'll be much more romantic that way. Just think. By this time tomorrow, Edna and I will be engaged and will be the toast of the scientific community! 
And I owe it all to you. You're welcome. Hey, Emmett, I've got to go out for a while. I thought Edna sent you to make sure I wasn't getting distracted. Oh, you'll be fine. It's a good thing I did this before Emmett's 12 hour time limit, where the cleanser might have dissolved the fur. Let's slip out of those furs, shall we? Hey Trixie, are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but uh, they'll work. How about the diamond in the photo album? I'll get them to you. Voila. Say, pretty snazzy for a phony rock. Gimme. Keep that up and I may take a real shine to ya. I'd rather you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. Now bring me that photo album and we'll be in business. I brought Emmett's photo album like you asked. Let's see. Gee, he's not bad looking. In an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. So, you got everything you need for your big scene? Everything except for your friend. Emmett Brown, redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long he won't. Great. It'll be safe in there. Doc said to tell him when the light on his diagnostic thingy went green. Hey, the light's green. That means Doc could take the DeLorean out again. I see. Well, you certainly do know a lot about me, Mr. Sagan. From one investigative reporter to another, Miss Strickland. One hey, Doc. I mean, uh, Mr. Sagan. Excuse me a moment, Miss Strickland. I've got her neutralized for the moment. How's the plan proceeding on your end? About that gizmo you've got hooked up to the DeLorean? The chronometric analyzer? Yeah, the light's gone green. Wonderful. If the systems check out, I should be able to take it for another test run. I've got to run a short end, Miss Strickland. I suggest you think about what I've been saying. Oh, I will. When did you land this time? Nine hours and 37 minutes ago. Ouch. Frankly, it started to get a little difficult to avoid running into myself. Still, the time jump yielded some interesting new data on the flux field. I'll run some more tests and we'll see what we find. How's it hanging, Emmett? No, 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 no time for small talk. I've got machines to tune and mind maps to sort. Hey, the light's green. And you're firm in your intentions? I need to talk to you. Excuse me, my dear. Yes? Your chronometer's gone green again. Excellent. Let's hope this time my test run is a success. I'm sorry to desert you again. 
Yes, well, you've left me with plenty to think about. Any luck this time? Depends what you mean by luck. My arrival time was off again. By how much? Eight hours this time. Gave me the chance to take in three showings of Frankenstein. Good movie. A bit implausible from a scientific perspective, but I can see how my younger self would have been mesmerized. But what about the DeLorean? Oh, yes. I did get one critical piece of information. The chromium elements in my circuits became unstable during the temporal shift. I should replace them with titanium. Great! Now, unfortunately, titanium won't become commercially available till the coal process is perfected in nine years. Nine years? But there may be another solution. I'm going to fire up the chronometric analyzer again. Then, while I'm stalling in there, you can... Uh-oh. Where did it go? The lab! Ah! You better get down there before she makes the situation impossible. I'll tend to the DeLorean. Age to perfection. Hey Emmett, I'm back. <clears throat> oh my! You know, I thought you were coming down here to keep Emmett focused on his invention. No, oh, she is. But she's generously scheduled brief canoodling breaks every 45 minutes to keep my mind fresh. Time's up, dear. Let's get back to work. Shall we? Now, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Can I talk to Emmett? It's kind of important. It'll have to wait until later. Emmett's got a lot to do before the expo opens. Isn't that right, darling? You know it, Schnookums. Schnookums? You can talk to him later. Mr. Sagan says he needs to talk to you back at the high school. He does? Whatever for? He says he's got a lead on the speakeasy arsonist. He does, does he? Well, I'm not sure anyone cares about that old story anymore. But I suppose I could spare a few minutes in the service of solving a crime. Will you be alright without me, sweetheart? It'll be tough, but I think I'll muddle through. Try to keep him focused. He's so easily distracted. Don't I wish. Hmm. There it is. I've been looking all over for my portable anti-stick anti-stain formula. Where'd you find it? Um, out by the trash? That's strange. I haven't been out there for hours. Oh well. Are you gonna spray your jacket? It's looking a little dusty. Not until it's really dirty. This cleanser doesn't grow on trees, you know. Well, some of the ingredients grow on trees, but the rest are synthesized polycarbonate really detergent dirty? blends. I can do that. I'll wait until you're at the expo to show Edna what a suit-destroying slob you can be. Well, that's about it. It is? Yep. As soon as I get all this stuff loaded into the truck, I'll be ready for the expo. Wanna lend me a hand? Uh, how about I go tell Edna you're coming? I'll, uh, get her ready for you to pop the question. Good thinking. Go on ahead. I'll meet you there. I really hope this works. Marty! Doc! Where's Edna? She's inside, setting up her booth. It's almost time for the opening ceremony. Holy jeez, I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. What do you mean? Oh. You got the time circuits fixed. Not exactly. You see, I, I've been mulling things over, and... Uh, in the timeline you're from... The right timeline? Yes, yes. Uh, I've got a wife. A great wife! Uh, Clara, and kids, and a dog, and a bitch in time train, and... And Edna? How does her story turn out? How does she end up? 
Oh, well, Edna ends up... Um...